Taya Valkyrie spent, like I said, before this match trying to make arrangements. Yeah. Trying to align herself with anybody, and everybody said, thanks for coming. She still has Bravo, she still has a chance. And Taya Valkyrie. She's looking to end this early. She's at Jordan Grace's number, hasn't she? She certainly has. Jordan Grace has had a few opportunities at the Knockouts Championship. I would actually say she's had every Knockouts number. When you've been champion for over a year, I think you can make that claim. Ty Valkyrie off the ropes and bam! Connects with Jordan Grace. Not a, uh, a homecoming of sorts for Ty Valkyrie, but spent most of her career down here in Mexico in AAA. There's Johnny Bravo going to work. We expected that one, folks. Using the dog's leash, I believe, Josh. Just whatever it takes to keep the championship around the waist of his meal ticket, Taya Valkyrie. Bam! Oh. Taya continues to remain in control here. Two Taya knees Valkyrie. right to the face, Josh. Knockouts champion in control. Can she keep it going? We'll find out after this. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling in Mexico City, Mexico. This is our main event for the Knockouts Championship. Taya Valkyrie, longest reigning champion in all of wrestling against the challenger, Jordan Grace. We've taken our final commercial break, folks. We're with you for the duration of this championship match. And right on cue, Johnny Bravo. He is choking the wow. life out of Jordan Grace. I mean, it's almost like she doesn't have a chance now. Well, she is in there with longest reigning knockouts champion of all time, so. Yeah, but you have Bowling Alley Bravo out there. Well, if you're gonna diminish him, then, then how is he effective? Then Maybe you need time, a new nickname for him. Every time the referee turns his attention towards what's happening in the ring, Bravo is right. What does that sound like? To pounce. Yeah. Good strategy. So perhaps the reason why Ty Valkyrie is still oh, knockouts first. champion. Jordan Grace showing signs of life here, looking for a German suplex. God, she dropped her right on that shoulder. Yeah, landed. Taya smartly rolling out. Taya landed high on her shoulder. Jordan Grace off the ropes now, and Grace with a dive to God, the outside. she just obliterated her with that dive. Jordan Grace is a heavy hitter, folks. With the Knockouts Championship on the line. Jordan knows that she has to get this done inside the ring. Watch out for Bravo on the outside. Look at Bravo again. Just shoves her off the top rope. Man, Brandon Toll is not doing a great job in this match. Taya Valkyrie doesn't go for a cover here instead. Trying to wear down Jordan Grace even further. Shoulders are down. He should be counting. He's having an off night, isn't he? Yeah, you would say so. Bravo has just thrown him completely off his game. Ty is an intimidator. Ty Valkyrie has Jordan Grace now on the second rope. Going for the choke, and here comes Bravo again. Man, this game plan is working well. Yep, distract the referee, argue with the referee, let Bravo go to work. Ooh. And look, I, while, while we're dis disgusted with the actions of Bravo, I mean, they're, they're calling a perfect game, right? They really are. I mean, in the era where teams in baseball are using technology to call signals, why not? Oh! Tough kick there right to the spine by Taya. You saw Taya weather the storm of Jordan Grace. That's the thing about Jordan Grace. Once she gets going, she's so hard to stop, and Taya was able to cut her down. Yep. Yeah, you got to cut that momentum off. Knockouts championship on the line here tonight. Ooh. Taya Valkyrie catches Jordan Grace. Knee to the jaw. Valkyrie off the ropes. Jordan counters. Big, big spine buster there. Remember a few weeks ago here on Impact Wrestling when Taya interrupted the Impact Wrestling world champion, Tessa Blanchard. People still buzzing about that, Josh. Quite the interaction. It's a whole new world here, folks. Jordan Grace up slightly before the champion. Trading forearms back and forth here. Ooh. Oof. Jordan 
Grace comes back. I wouldn't want to throw hands with Jordan Grace. No, she's a heavy hitter, Josh. Whoop, Ty ducks the line, caught her on the back. Jordan Grace now. Trying to, her up. Yep, trying to rely on her power. Setting up for the Grace driver, the signature maneuver of Jordan Grace. Three quick, nope. Taya slips out the back, avoids disaster. Misdirection. Got her. Wow, she nailed it. Shoulders down, stacked up high, and a kick out, and huge mistake down. Jordan Grace should not be counting along with the referee, right? No, absolutely Both not. Both hands locked in on the legs. She's got a lot of confidence, though. That move has helped her in many matches. Won her a lot of money. Taya buying herself some time out on the apron. Championship on the line. A lot of bad blood here, Josh. Jordan looking for a pile driver on the apron. Taya avoids, and there's a knee by Taya Valkyrie. Shot to the back, two. Taya's now. really been working on the spine. And now Bravo with those steel steps. And he adjusted those here, and Taya Valkyrie looking for a... Oh, oh power bomb. Yes. Spine into the stairs here at ringside. Yes. Jordan Grace may be out. Now Taya, she get back in the ring, win by count out. Well, that's her that's what a smart champion would do. She's back in and the referee will begin his counts. And Taya Valkyrie will head back to the West Coast. The referee's letting him play, isn't he? He really is. Now to a count of four. Halfway to 10, halfway for Taya to retain her championship. You see the arm on the apron at seven. Now he's at eight. She's going to beat the count. Taya knew it and stomped on the hand of Jordan Grace. Economical move that pays dividends. I think a move like that later in this match. I mean, Grace can't really, the Grace driver, her hands are involved in that signature maneuver. Not if all your fingers are broken. You've really sung the praises of Taya Valkyrie as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Champion. I mean, you can't argue with success, Josh. It's how many days is it right now? 490? I mean, we stopped counting days. We're counting years now. I guess so. Road to Valhalla on the stage. It's over. Oh, God. Good night. Well, she can't pin her there, can she? Nope, but she can go back into the ring, win by count out, and that'll be it. Taya Valkyrie took Jordan Grace as far away from the ring as possible. Deliver the road to Valhalla. She's going to head back to the ring. Ref's going to count to 10, and we're going to be out of here. Referee begins his count. Jordan Grace is miles away. Desperation. Trying to make it down that ramp, get back in the ring before a 10 count. Now at five. She's closer. She's on her feet at six. He's at seven. She's back down. Now at eight. Finger and slides in at nine and beats the count. There's the cover by Taya Valkyrie and Jordan Grace. Grab the bottom rope. Somehow, some way, Jordan Grace beat the count. Taya pulls her away from the ropes. Another cover and a bridge out at two. Taya starting to show a little bit of frustration now. The road to Valhalla on the stage, not enough to keep Jordan Grace out of the ring. So does the champion start to doubt herself at this point, Dom? I mean, Taya is so confident, but she's not used to people kicking out of her stuff. Jordan Grace grabbed the faux fur of the boot and pulled her off the ropes. Does Jordan Grace have anything left in the tank? We've seen this in the past. Muscle buster out of the corner. Wow, She's look got at this. She's got it all the way oh. up. Jordan Grace off the muscle buster. Goes to the cover. Shoulders down. New champion and a kick out in two. A move like that down the muscle buster when you have the legs and you fall back. It's the, it's the spine and the small of the back. Oh, it absolutely first. is. Wow. 
and that sets up the Grace driver. It does. She might be going for it here. Taya Valkyrie trying to counter. Had a wide base. Taya spins free. Got her! Cross arm breaker by the champion. Cross arm breaker here by Taya Valkyrie. Jordan Grace has to watch her shoulders on the canvas and cannot tap or pass out. Trying to power out. Yeah, she's powering Turn her back the into a pin. Over. And Taya right back in control. Grace, is, she's turned outside down, but that might hyperextend the shoulder even further. Yep. Jordan wow, Grace. great roll through. Look at that into a cross face. Cross face here by the challenger, and the champ's in trouble. Taya Valkyrie's in trouble. For the first time in this match, the champion chips in jeopardy. Taya Valkyrie, she's tall. Can she get closer? Can Bravo grab her hand? Drag her underneath the bottom rope. Well, Bravo has been very valuable so far to Taya. He just saved the championship. She's seen it over and over again. Johnny Bravo just saved the championship for Taya Valkyrie. Jordan Grace, not frustrated, goes to work. Doesn't go for a cover. Quickly opts to go for the Grace driver. She yeah, got her that... shoulders down. New champion here in Mexico City. And Bravo pulled the referee out of the ring by hook or by crook. Maybe it's time for Bravo to be sent to the back. I'm not sure why Toll's wasted so much. Just kick him out of here. He physically got involved. Uh oh And Jordan Grace, she's going to take care of Johnny Bravo. Taking matters into her own hands. Taya Valkyrie with a spear. To win her insurance policy. Schoolgirl shoulders down, got her. New champion and rolled all the way through. Tie it back up. Big time close on by the challenger. Bravo's down. Now is the opportunity. Now is her chance. With no one left to save the championship for Taya Valkyrie. She's got to go. Time to do it. Bravo. Literally putting his life on the line, laying on Taya Valkyrie to retain the championship. Jordan Grace oh. takes out both of them. Taya Valkyrie up. Here we go. Grace Driver, shoulders down, and we have a new champion. Breaking Knockouts Championship reign of Taya Valkyrie has come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, on this night in Mexico City, Mexico, the dreams of Jordan Grace have come true. She is Knockouts Champion. A Fujiwar armbar, unlike anything we've ever ever seen here in Impact Wrestling and collar and elbow tie up to get us started here with the Knockouts title on the line. The Knockouts, one of the most prestigious championships in all of pro wrestling. Past champions include Gail Kim, Madison Rain, ODB, Mickey James, and Laurel Van Ness. Stepping out of bounds is Deanna Perrazzo. Good veteran move there. Deanna Perrazzo made her Impact Wrestling on Access TV debut several weeks ago, but Don, she was here years ago when she was just getting her start in professional wrestling. A lot of bad blood here, Josh, with some of the things that have happened the last few weeks. Jordan Grace wanted to start this off fast. Deanna smartly stepping to the outside. These two have had words. You saw that in the video package before this match when they were guests on Busted Open. Actually, Deanna Perrazzo was the guest, and Jordan Grace interrupted that interview. Had some uh, choice language for Deanna Perrazzo. 
So Don, somebody that has the background that Deanna does with the, with the Fujiwara armbar, how do you, as the more powerful champion, combat that throughout this match? I, I really think you've got to try to start fast, as she did. I think you've got to try to dominate her with power moves. Deanna got some good run, and there's a nice throw by Jordan Grace. And Deanna, again, back to the outside, buying herself some time. Yep. That's just smart wrestling, Josh. Referee telling her she's got to get back in. Deanna knows she's One. got 10 seconds. Okay, ref. Two. Deanna from Three. New Jersey. We talked about the arm bar, the Fujiwara arm Four. bar. That she put Alicia Edwards in. Alicia Edwards tapped out in about three Four. seconds. Oh, yeah. I mean, I and you can tell she not only applies it well, but she can get to it very quickly, very efficiently All right. from any angle. Deanna back inside the ring now. She took her time. These two still feeling each other out. Deanna Brasso got caught there by Jordan Grace. Deanna quickly trying to misdirection a little bit. Jordan Grace not having any of it. So the power of Jordan Grace has been the story throughout this early portion of this championship match. And again, Deanna's on the outside. Jordan's tired of waiting for the challenger. And Jordan oh plays with a dive. And Jordan Grace is staying on top of Deanna Perrazzo. You don't want to let Jordan Grace get going. String moves together. That's exactly what we just saw. She needs to get Deanna back in the ring and finish her off. One. Referee. Two. Beginning his count as Jordan sends Deanna back inside the ring. Jordan Grace, this is the position that she wants to be in, right? Oh, yeah. She wants to be bringing the moves. Cover here, hooks the outside leg, and Deanna what? kicks out at one. Jordan needs to stay on her here. Speaking of new names, how about Deanna Perrazzo showing up yeah. here in Impact Wrestling? We saw Heath corner. earlier tonight. He was asked to leave by Scott yeah. Demore. Oh. And Demore has no manners, no class whatsoever. Jordan Grace He's trying to get to Deanna Perrazzo. Perrazzo fighting away. Oh, kicks the shoulder. And there, a stomp to the shoulder. Is all of the offense, and Deanna calls herself the best technical wrestler in the world today, is all of the offense of Deanna Perrazzo around the armbar, the Fujiwara armbar? Well, that's what you call smart technical wrestling, Josh. Pick a body part. And it's always going to be the arm. It's always going to be the shoulder if you're Deanna Perrazzo. Now, let me ask you this. As she drops the leg on the arm, is there other knockouts in the locker room that Deanna's, that this strategy, this offense moves like this? Shoulders are down and a kick out. Th this isn't going to work on. This strategy isn't going to work. Josh, good technical wrestling works on everyone. That's why you've had champions in the past like Nick Bockwinkle, like Billy Robinson, who have been able to have long careers because they're able to target a joint and they're able to take it apart. You often talk about Bill Belichick, and he's got a great game plan and doesn't really stray from that game plan. Would you compare someone like Deanna Perrazzo's offense to the strategy of a Bill Belichick? I would say this. I would say I think Deanna Perrazzo does her homework, maybe more than any knockout in the division, and it pays off. Referee telling Deanna Perrazzo she's got to back it up as Jordan Grace is in the ropes technically. And Jordan, she's trying to avoid right now anything that Deanna is going to do to the arms and the shoulders of Jordan Grace. Look at these short on clotheslines, and Jordan Grace is still on her feet. Third one rocks her to the hand. Really tough to take Jordan off her feet with those big, strong legs. Kick out at one by Jordan Grace, and she just powered out of that. Jordan's a tremendous power lifter as well. And now Deanna Perrazzo. She's former school teacher. What? Yes, sir. Oh. Really? Why don't you slap that arm bar at some of those rotten kids? Yeah. Yeah. Jordan Grace gets her toe on the bottom Two. rope, and Deanna forced to break the hole. Oh, Kick right to the inside of the arm there. That's the soft spot right there, wow, right? Don't it hurts, touch me. <laughs> Jordan Grace <laughs> back to her feet. Deanna Perrazzo taking advantage. Reversal by Jordan. Deanna Perrazzo puts on the brakes, goes through the legs. Nicely done. And Jordan's going to go low. Deanna spins free into a school girl. Stacked her up. Nope, Jordan Grace escaped. Look out, look out, look out. She's got, she's got the armbar. Arm armbar in. Fujiwara armbar in of Deanna Perrazzo. Jordan Grace turns back the other way. Grace overpowers, looking for the Grace driver, the way she became knockouts champion. Deanna Perrazzo looking to counter. Jordan Grace cross tries to Cross arm breaker, through. cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker applied here by Deanna Perrazzo. Jordan Grace has to lock her hands. Look at Deanna trying to break. Oh, a kick Ooh, right to the face. Nasty kick. Right to the nasty face. Nasty kick by Jordan Grace. And 
Deanna's still trying to lock in the cross arm breaker. Look at the white knuckles of Jordan Grace trying to escape. Jordan is very powerful in the arms. I don't think Deanna's going to be able to break that grip. Jordan Grace is trying to drag Deanna Barraza back over to the ropes. She successes, uh, able to successfully, I should say, get over there and break this hole. Fast and furious action, Don. Uh, this is, is this the kind of match that you thought we'd see between these two? I thought Jordan would have used more of her power moves than what we've seen so far. This has been a Deanna Perrazzo special in the sense that she's dictated the pace. The grinding halt. Really slowing things down here between yeah. these two. And Deanna again has the arm to what you said earlier. I mean, Deanna looks like she has a million ways to get into an arm bar to get into a submission. I don't think Deanna Peraza has done one move tonight. Oh, right. That has not been laser focused on the, the arm of Jordan Grace. Is she the best technical wrestler in the world? Yeah. Let's not get crazy. Is she the best yeah. technical knockout? Yes. Okay. Jordan Grace back to her feet. Yeah. Oh, well, Deanna left herself open for that, and Grace was able to strike to the back of the neck. Deanna, though, not trying to give any sort of a reprieve, any sort of time to the knockouts champion. Jordan Grace is not letting go of that top rope, folks. No. She may take the rope with her. Back elbow. Oh, shit. Another shoulder tackle by Jordan Grace, and oh! To the small of the back, championship retained, and no, oh, Jordan Grace not able to do it just yet. Deanna Perrazzo down, Jordan Grace down. This has been a back and forth battle. Is Jordan favoring her arm at this point down? Is that what she's keeping it close to her body? It looks that way. It's kind of hanging there, Josh. You don't want to leave it hanging out there too much because Deanna will snatch it and put in the Fujiwara arm bar. It's hard to execute power moves with one arm, Josh. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It's a leverage issue. Deanna firing away. Jordan ducks the line. Waist lock here, standing switch off the ropes. Jordan not able to hook, roll through, shoulders down. Has her here, and look at this. And now we've seen this submission from Jordan Grace. We've seen this from Grace, and she's got the technical Deanna Perrazzo trapped, legs wrapped around. This is a great hold here by Jordan. She can keep her there all night. Dad. Yeah, absolutely. If Deanna rolls back, she can possibly get Jordan's shoulders down. She's fading. Some of that long hair of Deanna Perrazzo in her mouth, that can also affect breathing, as strange as that sounds. Jordan's got her locked in. There's nowhere for Perrazzo to go. Deanna Perrazzo does not drop her arm, though, so she's still in this. Jordan looked to dig deep. Shoulders down here. Almost got her. That was a great counter roll through by Deanna Perrazzo. Smart offense by Deanna Perrazzo. Offense from she's a defense from offense. And look at this clothesline in the corner by Jordan Grace. Yeah, Jordan Grace right now is dictating pace. No. Grace, is she looking? She's going to bow and arrow her around that. She'll only have a five count, but she could do a lot of damage. Remember the senton from earlier in this match? I do. Off the small of the back from Jordan Grace to Deanna Perrazzo. Already a soft spot for the challenger here. Trying to slap some some feeling back into that left arm is, is Jordan actually, Grace. Does that count? It does. It gets the blood yeah. going to that area. Jordan Grace slapping down. Oh, Deanna Barraza. You can hear these two writhing in pain. Jordan yeah. Grace still hanging on to her arm. That arm's got to be injured. It's rare to hear Jordan register pain in the way that she just did. That arm is injured, Josh, in my opinion. Oh. Jordan Grace trying to overpower now. Deanna Perrazzo. Use what brought her to the dance. Perrazzo kicked the shoulder off the ropes. Jordan Grace trying again, and this time Grace going all that. Shoulders down, shoulders down, and Deanna somehow shakes free in two. And I don't know that Jordan got all of that with that injured left arm. Great point. Had a hard time getting her up. Deanna's been working on the left arm and shoulder of Jordan since the first minute of this match, Josh, and it paid off for her there. And she has not changed her game plan. She rolled to the outside several times when this thing got started. One more look here. Watch this right there by Jordan Grace. And then watch the legs of Deanna Perrazzo. She was able to shake free. Jordan Grace looking for more. Look at this. Deanna Perrazzo, she sat out. She sat out. She's got her. She's got her. She's got her. She's got her. Deanna, shoulders down. Shoulders down to kick out. And now 
That's where Grace just spine buster from Grace. Now, Don, the difference wrestling in MMA, that hold that Deanna had her in, you put yourself on, on the mat, yep. and you can't do that because you're going to get pinned. Exactly, Josh. And then Jordan One. Grace, did she get all of that last move? No, I don't think she did. Two. Referee starting to count here, and again, if he gets Three. to 10, Jordan Grace retains her championship. That's the champion's Four. advantage uh. in a match like this. Five. Now at five, Jordan trying to shake feeling back Six. into her arm yet again. Her face tells the story of the pain seven. she's in. Now at seven, and oh. the action continues. Yeah. Trading shots back and forth. Now this, does this favor Jordan? I think normally it would because Jordan is such a heavy hitter. Now she's throwing rights. It's the left arm that has been worked on. Grace using her power. We've seen this in the past. Trying to shake that arm loose. She looks for a trifecta of slams. And when Jordan Grace slams you, it's like being in a roller coaster ride. Watch this. Watch the speed. Well, maybe not. Because Deanna Peraza slipped to the back. Sherman with a throw from Deanna Peraza. Jordan Grace, she wants her oh. turn. What a physical battle for the Knockouts Championship. Jordan Grace off the ropes. Deanna Peraza with a pump kick. Perrazzo kicks the arm of Jordan Grace. Oh! Wow, that was a great move. Deanna Perrazzo, there's the cover and a kick out down. She calls that the pendulum. That snap suplex. And not enough to become knockouts champion here on this night. Yet. Deanna surveying the landscape, checking out the environment back to her feet. Jordan Grace, the champion, is down. Don, I, I'm going to say, we've never seen Jordan Grace in this, in, this, in this situation. No, we've seen her in some battles, but I've never seen her quite like this. Deanna looking for a suplex here, and Jordan Grace, I don't think so. Creates some separation. Oh, there's a boot. And Jordan Grace oh. introduces Deanna to the middle turnbuckle, much like she did to the table at their contract sign. And Jordan Grace, those knees, this is all the oh, man. Lord. Oh. You do not want to be in the corner. Jordan yeah. Grace, corner. And Jordan Grace thought she's going to retain her champion. And Deanna Perrazzo kicks out in two. How in the world, after those three moves, the knees driving her entire body in the corner, and then Deanna Perazzo is able to kick out? Yeah, this has been a war of attrition for sure, Josh. Both knockouts in a bad situation here. It was Deanna Perrazzo, Deanna Perrazzo, Deanna Perrazzo, and momentum swung the other way in favor of the champion who's looking for the Grace driver. How smart, Perrazzo's not gonna give her the arm. No. Deanna Perrazzo didn't give Jordan Grace the arm there. Jordan Grace is gonna try to beat it out of her. Like a hammer into a nail. The champion takes the challenger into the canvas. The Deanna covering up there, that was smart wrestling too. And now Jordan Grace again looking for the Grace driver in position. Deanna ducks the line and caught her on the backside. Not a lot behind that shot there by Jordan Grace. And Deanna slips the leg. Jack knife cover. Jack knife cover. Jordan turns it around. Watch out. Powerbomb time coming, maybe. Deanna has the arm. Deanna spins free. Deanna Perazzo's going to try to corkscrew Jordan Grace into the canvas. Back up. Back down. Arm bar. Here we go. She's looking for a, she's looking for a double. She's looking for a double arm bar. Oh, double God, double boot. Cool. She's got it. She's got both arms. Trent behind the back. Deanna Perrazzo has the. She tapped that. She quit. She quit. She verbally quit. We have a new knockout champion. Wow. Here's your winner and new knockouts champion, the virtuosa Deanna Perrazzo. Deanna Perrazzo is the new. Knockouts champion, ladies and gentlemen, on a night where we've crowned a new X Division champion, the headline tonight is that Deanna Perrazzo has fulfilled her destiny. Deanna Perrazzo is Knockouts 
champion. The king of the mountain was the slam anniversary staple for some time, main eventing the pay-per-view from 2005 to 2009, plus the 2015 event. Now the knockouts get their first opportunity. This is queen of the mountain. Whoa. And Steele realizes is that you, got, you can't win this early. So you've got to get out of the way. And there's no disqualification, so the involvement of Savannah Evans is entirely legal. And you saw at the beginning, all the other competitors were seemingly surrounding Steele. So she got out of Dodge. And it looks like she's got a plan that she's working on. So remember the rules. The wrestlers have all started this match ineligible to win. A wrestler becomes eligible with a pinfall or submission over another wrestler. No disqualifications and falls count anywhere. The wrestler who gets pinned or submitted spends Ooh. two minutes in the penalty box. An eligible wrestler wins by hanging the belt high above the ring. Meanwhile, meeting in the middle of the ring, Deanna Peraza and Chelsea Green, who had chatted in the past about maybe working together in this matchup. They have a friendship. Potentially being in cahoots. Here's the cover, hook to the leg. Yeah, able to kick out. And like any multi-person match, it's not a bad strategy, although at some point it will have to come down to fighting whoever you're teaming up with. But may as well eliminate the competition. I think it's a smart move. And listen, the first person who becomes eligible has a giant bullseye on their back because while the other competitors can't climb the ladder and hang the championship high above the ring, they then are going to go after that one person who is eligible. So you've got to be very careful about how you get your pin oh! Submission. You may not be able to climb, but you can certainly stop whoever is. Now Steele's on the apron, Perrazzo in green. This table oh, working right now, and Steele's into a pile of bodies, including Evans. And now with Chelsea Green looking to fly oh. too. Meanwhile, the Virtuosa looking to make a statement here as well. And now Perrazzo off the top. And now Green. And Perrazzo seem to be in control. Green trying to become eligible. Here's the cover. Oh, yes, that's a pinfall. And steals. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Green is eligible. And Tasha Steals will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. And so the first person to feel the penalty box is the knockouts world champion. So now Chelsea Green is eligible. Mickey James has reluctantly handed her the title. Watch this one more time. Green Ooh. off the top, and then Perrazzo doesn't often go high risk, but decides to get in on the act. And that's what led to Chelsea Green getting that first pinfall on Tasha Steele, now making her eligible. But what's that? Savannah Evans blocking the way. Oh, oh, wait. That's what the special guest enforcer is there for. Savannah Evans isn't in this matchup. There's no disqualification. What is she doing? Away. Away she is. Already, Mickey James abusing her power. Why? Why am I not surprised? Here we have a penalty box now. Now using the championship. Green trying to get involved. And remember, Chelsea Green is the only eligible Ooh. member of this match right now. Me and Yim trying to score a pinfall here. This would send Green to the penalty box. Yim was trying to become eligible. Now Deanna Perrazzo protecting Chelsea Green there from getting pinned. Jordan Grace back inside the ropes. Goes after Deanna Perrazzo. About a minute 20 now left. You can see in the back part of your screen there, there's the Knockouts World Championship. Anytime you want to climb, you have to go and get that championship or request it, and then set yourself up to climb to victory. Grace and Yim, they worked well together as tag team partners in recent weeks on Access TV, and that's paying dividends right now. Less than a minute now until Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles, the champion, are released from the penalty box. You see Tasha almost looking like, can I find a way out? Is there, is there any way possible of maybe uh, circumventing the two minutes? But unfortunately, that answer is no. Listen, Steeles can use this as an opportunity to recoup a little bit. Now Yim into a cover, hook to the leg, and it's broken up by Grace. Yim is not eligible. The only person who's eligible is Chelsea Green, and she's down at the moment. She's been taken out of action. That, that teamwork you were talking about just moments ago, how quickly it crumbles when the Knockouts World title is on the line. 20 seconds to go before Steeles and Evans are released back into the Queen of the Mountain match. 
And see, that's what's fascinating about this. That two minutes, it can be an eternity or it can be a blip, depending on how the time in between is used by the other competitors. It could be a lifesaver or a catastrophe. And now the clock expires. Evans and Steeles have to be released from the penalty box. I mean, Steeles is released because she's in this matchup. Savannah Evans unfairly. True. Technically, they could leave Evans in the box. <laughs> no. Really no. But meanwhile, Tasha Steeles, newly focused, like you said, had a chance to catch her breath. Might be even more dangerous now in this matchup. Oh. Out goes after Jordan Grace. Oh, double knees to the face of Grace. Now Yim, who's definitely worried Tasha Steeles, whether or not the champion will admit that. Uh oh. Oh! That has continuously been a shot at Mickey James, delivered by Steeles, and Yim able to kick out. Steeles still ineligible. Steeles letting Mickey James know you're going to mess with me and Savannah. And what is Mickey James doing now? Right, Mickey James is trying to get Savannah Evans out of this. I mean, there, there is no disqualification. I think it's just smoke strategy. What? Wait, what? The special guest enforcer, Mickey James, has just barred Savannah Evans from ringside. Oh, now Green trying to send Steeles back to the penalty box. Green is already eligible. That's a smart choice. But, yeah, you can still send another competitor to the penalty box, even if you're already el eligible. Kick right to the face. Snapmare takedown. And here's Steeles on the run. Big kick. Steeles to become eligible. Yim breaks it up. Chelsea Green, the second she became eligible, she took a real beat and has not really had much of a chance to even grab a ladder. Had the championship in her hands for a moment, but still. You gotta balance a lot of spinning plates in the air, as it were, in this matchup. Get eligible. Oh! Make sure enough of your opponents oh, are bridge, down. The bridge, Yim is eligible. Ladies and gentlemen, Mia Yim is now eligible, and Chelsea Green will spend two minutes in the penalty box. Critical moment for Chelsea Green, who is still eligible, but now it's got to wait two minutes. And she had that window where she was the only one eligible, the only one who could win this matchup. But now, Nikki James sends her to the penalty box. Oh! Takes a shot at Nikki James. And that history we alluded to at the beginning of this matchup is still fresh in the mind of Chelsea Green. Meanwhile, in the center of the ring, Mia Yim is eligible and has the Knockouts World title. Trying to climb here. Can Mia Yim hang the title high above the ring? Mia Yim oh. is the first one to actually start climbing a ladder here to make some progress towards hanging that championship. Oh, Grace goes after Steeles. Perrazzo slowing the ascent to Mia Yim. Perrazzo looking to climb back to champ champ glory one title at a time. Ooh. Mia Yim use, using that championship as a right. weapon. Once again, no disqualifications in this one. Yim trying to climb, keeping Perrazzo down. And now look at Steele. Oh, a cutter. Yim bouncing off of the ladder in the process. Take a look again, stepping off of Jordan Grace into the cutter off the ladder to Mia Yin. Now, less than a minute now. Hold on, cover inside the ring. Peraza was trying to pin steals and become eligible. And once again, now on Yin, and it's broken up by Grace. So again, Chelsea Green and Mia Yim, the only eligible wrestlers so far in this match. And Chelsea Green's got 30 seconds left to serve in the penalty box. She sees the camera there. She is seeing the opportunity. Meanwhile, Deanna Peraza has the armbar locked in. Submissions do count as well to make you eligible. A Fujiwa armbar applied here on Jordan Grace. Oh, oh and now it takes Steeles. Beautiful a floater from the Virtuosa now with an armbar on Tasha Steeles. Could this send Steeles back to the penalty box? It absolutely could. Could this make Peraza eligible in Queen of the Mountain? And now Green has been released back into the matchup. Green and Yim are eligible. Meanwhile, Perrazzo trying to tie the arms of Tasha Steeles around the rung of that ladder. Oh, and Steeles is tapped. Deanna Perrazzo is eligible now. And Tasha Steeles will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. So now Perrazzo, Yim, and Green are eligible. 
And Tasha Steeles goes for another two minutes in the penalty box. But look at this, Green and Perrazzo, they both can climb the ladder and hang the championship up and win this and become champion, but they're working together. It shows you the threat of Jordan Grace. Oh! It just goes to show the power of this team oh. will take out everybody else. Oh, and Grace took out Perrazzo. It's oh. over. Here we go, Grace. All her hard work did not pay off there, right into Chelsea Green, who has the title. Yim was trying to throw the, the ladder at Green. Gets out of the way just in time. Oh! Stepping off that ladder, dropping me again to the mat. Cover to send Yim to the penalty box and a kick out. Remember, Yim, Green, and Perrazzo all eligible. And that's a smart move. If you can send another eligible competitor to that penalty box, it's one less person who can win. And clears the ring for you to climb. A little over a minute now for Ooh. Tasha Steeles to serve inside the penalty box. Ooh. Oh, face first into the bottom turnbuckle. There's a cover to send him to the penalty box and a kick out. Yams wants to stay in this one. Two of our eligible competitors, along with Deanna Perrazzo. Right, look at these two battling out here in the first ever Queen of the Mountain match. Less than a minute to go till the Knockouts World Champion can get back into this matchup. Hold on, cover by Yim. Oh, wait a minute, whoa, wait a minute. Green kicked out, Green kicked close. out in time. Green had the championship in her hands and Yim was trying to send Green to the penalty box again. There's been enough damage, enough destruction oh. where you're getting to that point in the matchup where somebody can indeed win. Another 20 seconds and Tasha Steeles will be able to exit the penalty box. He's got a time, you can't waste any time, especially when someone's in that penalty box. And Chelsea Green is taking this time to gloat in front of the Impact Wrestling fans. You may be holding that championship, but you do not possess it yet. And Steels has been released from the penalty box. Steels always still ineligible, remember. Oh my God, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, face God. first into the ladder. But look out behind you, Chelsea Green. Oh, the missile drop kick, spine first into the steel goes Green. That was a long fall for me and him as well. Does some damage now. Pretty much everybody in this matchup is down. Watch this Ooh. over the penalty box. Able to level Chelsea Green. Chance of HBIC here inside the asylum in Nashville, Tennessee. What? Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. One goes for the offense on Perrazzo and Grace. And Perrazzo and Grace were just starting to get to their feet when Mia Yin did this, walking the ladder, and the flipping oh. senton to the outside takes out both of them. Oh my God. Oh, Ooh. package pile driver on the floor. False count Whoa. anywhere. Cover. Grace has got to go to the penalty box. Jordan Grace will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. Remember, Yim was already eligible, so this is critical. You can see the way the rest of the competitors were uh, treating this matchup. They understand how big of a threat Jordan Grace is. This is huge. Now Mickey James, the special guest enforcer, trying to get Grace uh, as calmly, job. calmly as possible into the penalty box. There's still a matchup to maintain, rules to maintain. And Jordan Grace now has two minutes to recover, to strategize, to do what she's got to do. But she also loses that precious opportunity to become eligible. Back inside the ring, Yim is eligible, as is Green and Peraza. Great opportunity here for Yim, and now gets the championship from Mickey James. And once again, Yim looking to climb. Oh! Tasha Steele's not going to allow it to happen. Tasha Steele's holding on to her championship. I Meanwhile, Tasha Steele's is not yet eligible. It's just playing defense here mostly. Oh, and a big hit up by Green. And now Green, who is eligible. Now the door is open. Making the climb here. Wait, wait. Mickey James! Oh, come on now! The personal history between James and Green coming into place! Mickey James is abusing 
her authority in this matchup. I know there's bad blood here, but come on, you're supposed to be an authority figure. What was that? Are you kidding me? James slides the title to Yim, who's eligible. Perazzo's up. The Virtuosa is eligible as well, but Yim dropped the title. An absolute abuse of authority by Mickey James has led us to this, but now... Oh! After that nasty power bomb under the ladder, Deanna Perrazzo is eligible. Tasha Steele's oh. now doing damage. Sending Perrazzo into the steel, and you can hear that, that smashing up against the steel. That's Jordan Grace trying to get out of the penalty box in the next 20 seconds. Oh my god. Oh, face first into the ladder goes Steels. Steels has been heavy targeted this entire matchup. Heavy wears the crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, excuse me. And now Green starting to climb. Barraza on the other side. Both are eligible. And is the alliance formed at the start of this matchup? And now the penalty box has been opened. Jordan Grace is back into Queen of the Mountain. Who's going to win? They were formed a team earlier. Oh but now either one of these two women can win this matchup. Oh my God. Yeah. Him sends Grace oh. and Perrazzo. From the mountaintop, go Green and Perrazzo. Oh my God, that, that leaves Yim, the only eligible wrestler inside the ring right now. Oh, there's a cover, there's a cover by Grace. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Steals as well. What's the ruling? And I suppose it's the official's discretion. Jordan Grace and Tasha Steeles are now both eligible. Oh. Mia Yim will spend two minutes in the penalty box. So it's down to Grace and Steeles. Steeles wanted the black oh. arrow and now leaps into a neck breaker. That was a double pinfall on Mia Yim. Tasha Steeles jumping in at the last minute to get the cover as well. So now Tasha Steeles is eligible to regrasp her knockouts world championship. Trying to set up the ladder, and now grabs her championship. Can Steels hang it high above the ring and retain her title and make history once again here at Slammiversary? Meanwhile, Jordan Grace oh. is the last competitor not eligible in this matchup yet. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, Look Grace. At, looking to change the game. Buster. Cover. Steels to the penalty box. Tasha Steeles will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. So smart by Grace. That's two competitors in the penalty box. First time in this matchup. Green and Peraza are on the outside through those tables. It is all Jordan Grace. It is all alone. The mountaintop is empty. Up to the top of the ladder. Unhooking the championship. And now it's going to clip it high above the ring. It's almost there. The final step, and it's done! Jordan Grace is Queen of the Mountain! Grace is the Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of Queen of the Mountain and new Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace! Jordan Grace writes history at Slammiversary! What a matchup. History has been made. What a matchup. Congratulations to the Queen of the Mountain, the new Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace. It's going to take a very, very sound strategy. You know you can't go move for move, pound for pound with Jordan Grace. She's one of the strongest strongest athletes I've ever seen. So it's going to be about finding a game plan. Maybe take out the base of the stronger champion. 
But if there's any wrestler out there who has the mindset to do so, Mia Yim just might be that wrestler. A sign of respect here between Grace and Yim, recently tag team partners, but that is in the past. Sign of respect, we know these athletes respect each other a lot, but we also know that there's a lot of tension between these two, especially considering their tag team performance in those matchups you just mentioned. Cover here by Grace, Yim able to escape. Very oh. split crowd here this evening in Chicago before this match even got underway. This is what many people have been looking forward to, Grace versus Yim for the Knockouts World Championship. Early stalemate for both wrestlers. Makes this a little bit more of a chess game than quite frankly I was expecting. I expected Jordan Grace to take the power game right out of the gate. But Yim is pushing it to her just as much. Uh, Yim backed into the corner here by Jordan Grace. Now uh, Grace, uh, both these two jockeying for position here early on. It's a relative stalemate, and you do not see that very often when it comes to Jordan Grace in competition. And now we're going to be forced to make the break here. Before the count of five, Scott Armstrong all over this matchup. Not his first rodeo, we know that much. And now you can almost see, you can almost see Jordan Grace, the champion, looking inward and more thinking about what exactly strategy she's gonna have to use against a very, very game and very experienced opponent in Mia Yim. Mia Yim, who had a lot of success here in Impact Wrestling. We talked about it in her matchup. It was last night on Impact Wrestling on Access TV, defeating Madison Rain. She once won the Knockouts World Championship in a match featuring Impact Hall of Famer Gail Kim and Madison Rain. That was years ago. Can you imagine having that stuck in your head all the way leading Whoa. up to this moment, the pressure on a competitor? Now Grace takes out the knee here of Mia Yim. Oh, and Whoa. look at this! What power! German suplex into the bridge and a kick out. Not just any German suplex, a deadlift off the ground German suplex from the juggernaut that is Jordan Grace. And yet despite that, only a one count. Courtesy of Mia Yim, who is very, very game to stay in this one. Wants to leave with championship gold. Oh, forearm shiver there by Grace, trying to keep Yim close. Now Yim instead trying to quicken the pace and takes Grace off of her feet. There's a low drop kick. And that's what I was talking about before. Take out the base of the stronger oh. athlete, and you'll find yourself at a significant advantage. There's a little extra heat on that drop kick in the corner. The pleasantries are out the window. Oh, oh. Uh, Grace might be injured here. And, and now Mia Yim continues the attack. Hey, like a shark smelling blood in the water, or you strike when you see that weakness. Take a look again here. That Tope oh. Suicida right to the champ. Out into the ring to win the knockouts world title and a kick out at one by Grace. Just one counts in the first pinfall attempts for both these women. And now look at this, raining down blows. Mia Yim just trying to control Grace, trying to get that shoulder down. Scott Armstrong on top of it, cover, just a one count. And you saw Jordan Grace there fighting, wasn't even letting Mia Yim get her shoulders down for even a second there. Oh! And talk about pleasantries saying bye-bye. Oh, Ray, well, you know what it means to strive for something in this business, to strive for a championship in this business. Would you let anything stand in your way? Absolutely not. I applaud Mia Yim here. Take whatever shot you can. But I also say don't underestimate, don't turn Not your into back. Into a cover, kick out at one. Exactly, on someone like Jordan Grace. You're in control now, but that can shift at any second, especially with a, someone the caliber of Grace. Now Mia Yim was trying to set up for a suplex here, and this is the power of Jordan Grace. He cannot Whoa. just set up for this out of nowhere. Oh, look at this, a guillotine. Mia Yim latched on the minute Jordan Grace was lifting. Mia Yim for that suplex, she snatched on this hold right here. Great move from Mia Yim. Guillotine here by Mia Yim, and is Jordan Grace going to submit or even pass out to Mia Yim? You can have all the strength in the world, but if you can't breathe, 
Your muscles don't work, but Jordan Grace fighting through it. Oh, look at this. Raw power! And now me and him, that tingling sensation all up and down her spine as Jordan Grace gets back to her feet. Oh, boot right to the face by the champion. And Grace now has an opportunity to turn the momentum of this matchup around. Is Mia Yim looking to pull the champion off the top rope here? Now Mia Yim does enough there to slow down Jordan Grace. Going up to the top turnbuckle here. Dangerous territory for both wrestlers here. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the power of Mia Yim. They're able to get Jordan Grace up to this position here. Now Jordan Grace going for a sunset flip bomb. Lands on her feet and now the strength trying to yank Mia Yim away. Oh, oh running power bomb. Take a look at this, out of the corner and bam! Center of the ring. Almost shades of Jushin Thunder Liger right there. That running power bomb from the Knockouts World Champion. Great respect shown here by the fans in Chicago all night long, and especially for this matchup, the Impact Knockouts World title on the line. And challenger and champion going head to head. And now going strike for strike. Oh, now look at Jordan Grace fire off here on me and him, and him retorts. Oh my God, and Grace back up to her feet. Oh, Jeez. oh look at the resilience here. Despite that kick echoing throughout the entire Cicero Stadium here, Jordan Grace back to her feet. Oh, Pele kick. Stacks up Grace, cover for the championship and a kick out at two. You know how dangerous the feet of Mia Yim can be, those kicks. And of course, eat defeat. As you look here, oh. those fast Kawana style kicks to the side of the head of Jordan Grace. Oh. They right to oh. the face. Oh, and look at this. The aggression has been turned up a notch. Spine buster, cover, kick out. So Mia Yim might have been knocked a little loopy there, trying to find her feet until she came right into that spine buster. Take a look at it again right here. Bam! Oh. Planted center of the ring. Oh, now look at this, trying to set up for the Grace Driver center of the ring. Mia Yim able to block there for just a moment. And these clubbing blows from the champion. Oh! Once again, attacking Mia Yim. And now Jordan Grace, look at this. What is Jordan Grace thinking about here? Trying to tie up Mia Yim. Mike's tied to figure oh. four now, hooks it in. Submission in the center of the ring here. A rare submission from Jordan Grace. Middle of the ring. Is this going to be it for me and him? Stretching the challenger, trying to break him in half. Oh, oh, oh. But me and him pulling at the hands, trying to separate the fingers, and she does. Oh, this is incredible. Trying to break oh. the grip of Jordan Grace. Nearly did it, but Grace came right back. And now look at him. And finally grabs an individual finger that small joint manipulation breaks the hold and now oh. with one of her own is Mia Yim doing anything she can to stay oh. close here with Grace both now both wrestlers have each other in this inverted chin lock here trying to stretch the other back and forth oh. and now Yim doing anything she can oh. to break it up and Grace oh and this one is getting gnarly you can hear the thud it's both right. They're still tied up. They're still oh. tied up at the legs here. Just chopping each other across oh. the chest. Headbutt finally separates the two.
Grayson Yim putting it all on the line for the Impact Knockouts World Championship tonight. Grace trying to shake her legs a little bit, just trying to get some life back into her limbs. And both, no doubt, a little disoriented after that exchange. And now Mia Yim, oh, no, no. caught up here on the outside of the ropes. Shoulder first into the midsection. Oh, got the DDT! Huge DDT, Tornado DDT. To win the title oh. kick out by Grace! Take a look at this one more time. This Tornado DDT from Mia Yim put her within one second of walking out of Chicago with the championship. Going again for the Tornado DDT. Oh, look Ooh. at this. Again, the strength of Grace. Oh, setting up for it. Muscle it. Buster from the Juggernaut. Cover. Oh, and a kick out by Yim. What? You've got to be kidding me. Watch this one more time. For the love of Samoa Joe. Boom, the muscle buster, and Grace nearly put away Mia Yim in this title defense. Oh, now once again, she's going for the Grace driver. Wanted to put away Mia Yim, Yim ready for it again. Can't believe that Yim kicked oh. out of that muscle buster. Yim has a point to prove here at emergence. Chance of women's wrestling here in Chicago at Immersion, showing great respect for these two knockouts. And it's hard not to, considering everything both wrestlers are putting into this one. Oh, look at this. Grace sent face first into the top turnbuckle by Mia Yim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yim on the, off the top rope here. Cold blue! Good God! Cold blue! Into the cover, could have a new no champ! champ. A look again, Code Blue set up off the top rope here. Bam! Champ planted. We thought it was it, but yet here we are. Both wrestlers still in this fight. And now Mia Yim with a sense of urgency here. It's got to stay on Jordan Grace. Keep your foot on the oh, gas and don't minute. let up. Was gone for each defeat. Was Mia Yim now into the cover on Jordan Grace? Grace gets out of it into the cover now. Whoa, whoa. Yim back and forth. Look at both of them go. Could be another one here. No, back and forth. Fish out of water oh. almost. Kick out there by Grace. Oh, and a kick by Yim. Caught upside the face oh. and another for good measure. Yim wants to put this away. Oh, going for protecting that. The package pile driver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jordan Grace. Got Grace. Her. Driver. Grace. Driver. Grace retains against Yim. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace! The Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, drops another obstacle. What an absolute display from, in my opinion, the best women's division in pro wrestling on the planet. Jordan Grace proves why she is at the top of the mountain here in the knockouts division. Take a look here at the conclusion of this matchup. It was so close to call. Mia Yim at multiple points looked like she'd had Jordan Grace, but then this, the Grace driver, seemingly from out of nowhere from multiple attempts to set it up. Grace finally gets it and puts away Mia Yim. And let's not take anything away from the HBIC. Yim was excellent tonight. There were many, many moments where Mia Yim was less than one second away from leaving this city, leaving this event here tonight as the Knockouts World Champion. But Jordan Grace, just that much better. Proving why she is carrying the banner for this company as its Knockouts World Champion. And you gotta wonder who, who could be the one to knock off Jordan Grace, but I'll tell you this much, 
it's going to be a while before that happens. Start slow, catch as catch can, all of that. No, 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 no. This one's starting fast, furious, and angry. And look at Grace all over Slamovich. Grace knows that Slamovich's matches have ended in roughly three minutes or less over this past year. Trying to attack Slamovich and end this early. Trying to give Slamovich a little taste of her own medicine, possibly. Uh, now Jordan Grace, full in esteem, went for the baseball slide. Slamovich ducks underneath. Oh, Ooh. clobbered. This one oh. hit the other. Grace has been relentless here. As if we expected anything else with the Knockouts World title on the line. I got to ask, what did you take away from the recent exchange between these two? Hold on, here's a cover. Hook to the leg here. Kick at it, too, by Slamovich. That is a surprise this early on in the matchup. But I, I was going to say, what did we learn from the pick your poison exchange between these two over the last two weeks? That they know each other better than I think a lot of us think that oh. they did. Slamovich picking Max the Impaler for Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace picking Ellie Catch in a Monsters Ball match. They knew how to test the metal of their future opponent. Speaking of which, it's about to be where metal meets wood with that pile driver attempt by Grace. Slamovich holds it. And turning things around here. Oh, look at the raw strength of Slamovich. And now, oh God, no way, you gotta be kidding me. Now, oh! Take another look if you can stomach it. Hold on, cover, cover on the left side of your screen, live action to win the championship and a kick out. If we can get another look at that pile driver, I mean, it, it was, it was grotesque. That has absolutely changed the complexion of this entire matchup. You can tell the air just got sucked out of the room. Oh my God, I mean, Slamovich is now appropriately going after the head and neck of Jordan Grace. I cannot believe Grace is still in this. That shows just how fighting a champion Jordan Grace is, how much that Knockouts World title means to her. Here's that look one more time. Watch this angle. Just watch. Oh, God. You can hear the thud, too, of the head and neck and shoulders of Grace just slamming into that steel. Oh! Grace catching Slamovich a cover there. Grace did not have her hands on the ropes there, nearly pinned Slamovich that way. And not just a double boot, but driving through the mat, through Masha Slamovich. Oh, hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think about the Grace driver here, center of the ring. Slamovich prevents it. Saw it coming as her opponent studied. Oh! Oh! oh. Close range with the fireman's carry, and now the double stop right to the midsection. You saw the way Slamovich held on to the cover, wrist. Cover to win the championship, pressing the shoulders down. Jordan gets out. Great control of Jordan Grace there from Slamovich. I, I still cannot believe the resolve of Jordan Grace to take that reverse pile driver out of the hardest part of the ring. It keeps on coming. We have to imagine that was part of her training. We know how hard Jordan Grace trained, one of the strongest athletes I've ever known. Oh, got to imagine training that neck for a match like that. She had to assume she was going to try to drop her on her head. Oh. Kick right to the spine. 
Well, now look at this. Masha Slam is trying to return the favor, so to speak, going for a cover. This with her foot on the chest. Driving a point of elbow into the side of the head of Jordan Grace. Oh, and Jordan Grace not going to back down. And Slamovich loves this type of fight. Now Slamovich, Slamovich was maybe trying to hook the leg and set up for the snowplow in some capacity. Jordan Grace fighting out of that though. Trying to switch the grip here as it were, break the hold of Slamovich. Oh, oh God. Slamovich closes the space with authority. Oh, and a spin kick right to the face. That dazed Grace. Slamovich has had an answer every time Jordan Grace oh. has turned things around, but Grace had the answer on that one. Beautiful spine buster, and that bought Jordan Grace some time. Some time and some much needed breathing room for the Knockouts World Champion. Take a look back here. Out of the corner, Slamovich just caught. Bam! You can see the head and neck bounce off the canvas there. Now Slamovich somehow back up to her feet. I, I don't know how I'm saying somehow, but these two are incredible. Yeah, that's there's no shock there that these two are going through so much and putting each other through so much. Grace and Slamovich chopping away. The Knockouts World Championship at stake. Neither relenting. Toe to toe, chop for chop here. You know, it was Slamovich's br country brethren, Dostoevsky, who said, if you want to overcome oh. the whole world, you've got to overcome yourself. And I got to say, both these athletes have done that and are now trying to overcome one another in this epic contest. Oh, open palm strike there by Jordan Grace. Grace and Slamovich not stopping. Oh, and both wanted a spinning breakfast. Both connected. And down they go. And just like that, we find ourselves with both wrestlers back to square one, even playing field as it were. Both women have until the count of 10 to get back up to their feet so that this matchup can continue. Sound of five. Slamovich stirs first. Challenger finding their way to their feet. Slamovich and Grace redefining the term knockout. Oh, and look at the power. That is the explosive power seemingly out of nowhere from Grace. And Grace is asking for another power slam. Grace wants all of this. Oh. And this is an illustration of the styles of both these wrestlers. Oh. The viciousness, the strikes of Slamovich, the strength, the power of Grace. Oh. For that driver on the apron earlier, take a look at it right here. Jordan Grace with this almost like Michinoku driver high on the neck. But somehow, Slamovich endured. Slamovich face first into the top turnbuckle, and now Grace just lighting up her challenger. We've seen this before. Thinking about a Vader bomb. Oh no! Slamovich saw it coming. Oh, and for a big kick, it's caught by Grace. Slamovich finds another way. Innovative way to turn that one back around. And oh my God! Cover. Do we have a new champion in a kick out? Take another look at this. A Canadian. Destroyer by the Russian force that is Masha Slamovich. But somehow Grace is still in this matchup. Jordan Grace showing us a resolve that, that we knew was there, but still shocks me every time. Slamovich gets into a ring and somebody somehow survives. Jordan Grace not only surviving, fighting oh. continually. 
Colossal headbutt there. And now it's Slamovich trying to climb. Ooh. Jordan Grace gonna make it a difficult ascent. Grace now looking to bring Slamovich down the hard way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the power of the juggernaut. And not done yet. Roll it through. Cover to retain. Oh, kick out by Slamovich. You got to see this again. That was so close. Off the top, this stalling vertical. And then rolling through into a juggernaut jackhammer. Another cover, another cover. By Slamovich. Jordan Grace continues to wow every time she steps through those ropes. What a matchup, adding to the 15 year legacy of the Impact Knockouts World Championship. Knockouts division continuing to prove why it is the best women's oh. division in all of professional wrestling. Uh-oh. Is it time? Gordon Grace, one of the muscle busters. Slamovich, what a Jody O! Oh. Into a sleeper! Slamovich able to hook off that kick and now trying to choke the life out of the Knockouts World Champion. Is this what it takes to stop Jordan Grace? Oh, what a transition here. Great job by Slamovich. Throwing the champ around like a sack of potatoes and not letting go. Relentless is Masha Slamovich. Is Jordan Grace going to submit here at Bound for Glory? All the pressure. Is on Jordan Grace oh now God. to stay in this one. She looks like she's fading no time. Is Grace gonna pass out? No, no, Slamovich no. trying to capture the championship. That is one way to win if the champ can't continue, but it seems like Grace is continuing to fight, reaching, reaching for the ropes. Grace back up to her feet, gets to the ropes. Slamovich has to release the submission. Breaking the grip on the rope soon. Smart move there from Slamovich. Oh, oh God. Cover with the branch to have a champion and a kick out. Two, two, two. What a battle here at Bound for Glory. One more look at this. Arms trapped. And Slamovich continues the assault on the head and neck of Jordan Grace. But the champ stays in it. Oh, and now who can get the better of the other here in this lockup? Grace fighting. Doesn't want to get anywhere near that snow plow. Oh, spinning back fist yet again, and now there's Grace. Oh, God. Oh! Grace to hold on to the championship. Slamovich kicked out. How close was this? Take a look, Grace. Trying to retire the favor, dropping Marsha on her neck. Trying to put this one away, but Slamovich stays alive. Eerily similar to the driver that Grace suffered on the outside of the ring into the apron very early in the match. Chance of this is awesome here tonight in Albany. The 18th annual Bound for Glory has been magnificent thus far. This matchup has been absolutely no different. Oh. Grace trying to send a definitive message to Slamovich. Slamovich, I don't know if we've ever seen her in a position like this. Oh, what a pump kick! And now, Kobe looking for that snowplow again. Grace fighting it off. Trying to set it up, middle of the ring. Grace trying to cover! Oh, what a kick out by Slamovich! You have got to be kidding me. How many people have kicked out of this? It's not See how close the official's hand was to the mat. And you can see it etched on the 
the face of Jordan Grace as well. Slamish kicks out of Grace's best shot. Can the juggernaut prevail? Or is Masha gonna kill her? Up on the shoulders now. What is Grace thinking about here? Slamovich finds a way out again. He was trying to set up for that sleeper for just a moment. Going back to that hole, continue work on the neck. Oh! Uh oh, look at this. Hold on a second. Look out in the corner. Airway oh. crash. Yeah. And she's not done yet. Slamovich isn't done. Snowplow. Snowplow. Do we have a new knockouts world champion? Oh, grace his foot under the bottom rope. This is a positioning issue because of where Grace landed ultimately. First of all, right in the living room there with the air raid crash. Watch how Grace falls. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it was intentional. It was just a matter of where that snowplow took place. The foot lifelessly fell under the bottom rope, which probably just pissed Masha Slamovich off. And she's got to put her foot, put her pedal to the metal here and close this one out. Now Grace planted on the top turnbuckle by Slamovich. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tom, you gotta be kidding me. There's no way. Oh, off the top, off the top. The juggernaut snaps Slamovich's strike. Grace retains. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And still, Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace. One of one, Jordan Grace.